really crazy to sit in your own home and um, no one else is there. Um, you're listening to a song of people you've actually never really even met in person. And they send you a track and in a sense, I mean, yeah, you can ask them if what input they have or what they want, but ultimately so far since the pandemic, especially, I have been kind of told, um, like, hey, we want you to do you, or we want you to play how you play. Um, even one guy was like, hey, we, we kept pulling, trying to try to pull up videos on YouTube of what we wanted our drummer to play like, and it ended up, it just kept being videos of you. And so we just decided to try to contact you and have you play you. And that can be nerve wracking, it can be inspiring, but it can also be nerve wracking a little bit to hear that and feel like now you can't try to be anything but who you are without having to think about it. But you're, that's your goal, so you're trying to aim to be yourself but you're tracking on a song that's for someone else, but they want you to fully be yourself. Not to get all heady about it, but it, it, it's like a, one of my favorite movies is The Royal Tenenbaums, and the guy who plays Richie, Gene Hackman, uh, they, the, the director said, I wrote this part for Gene, not for you to act like someone, and he said, oh man, I don't think I want to do that. Um, and that, I love that, knowing that, because he wanted him to not act like any character or anything. He just wanted him to be himself, and that was how the movie was designed. Um, so it's cool, it's fun to hear that, but it's also a little bit, it can make you feel a little bit on edge, like, okay, now I gotta really try to just be not trying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how else to say it, but it's fun because my natural instincts I just let those go. I just let them be what they are. And my natural instincts are what they're looking for in a sense. Obviously I still have to think and try to think correctly and look at the parts correctly, but um, it's really fun being able to record uh, just in your home and be a part of someone else's journey. Or, um, you know, it's, I love hearing a really emotional song that's sent and you're, you don't know the person necessarily like the song I tracked today I didn't know who the artist was um, I knew one of his close friends who plays music with him live a lot um, and he contacted me so there was a connection there but not directly to the artist and um, you feel like you hear someone's heart and someone's emotions and the sensitivities and the you know, the fragile state of having to send your own product off and be critiqued by someone you don't even know. But it's really fun. It's, um, I'm starting to really love that approach to music where you're connecting and you're not having to fly somewhere, but you just totally feel connected the same way as if you would go shake someone's hand and sit down in a studio and track. But it's at my own home. Um, with my dogs running around and you know my son's right there and my wife's here and it's fun man it's a uh, I didn't love the thought of it at first and once I kind of got past that barrier that that kind of new world barrier of screen connection or like FaceTime connection um, it was very similar to doing lessons online. I didn't like the thought of that because I like connecting with people. But once you kind of get past that and push yourself into a new area and kind of get past the uncomfortable part of the unknown, it's really fun. It's, it's really, really special. Um, yeah, so I just hope I can keep tracking for people um, constantly all over and being a part of people's journeys and getting to utilize things that I feel gifted in um, to be a blessing to other people and their projects and maybe what a church is going through. And I never s set foot in the doors of the church, but I'm very much a part of what's happening in their ministry. And yeah, I feel very grateful 
to get to do this stuff, especially when we've all been stuck at home a lot and there's not a lot of opportunity for touring or anything like that. Um, it's really fun. <laughs>